white dwarfs are fascinating celestial objects in the cosmos the future of our sun will be nothing but a white dwarf though before that there is one more phase that is called red giant phase and at present our sun is in main sequence phase it has been almost 4.6 billion years in the main sequence phase yes i am talking about our sun but for any star if the maximum mass of the star is 10 times means if the mass of the star lies between 8 and 10 times this mass of the sun in that case the final state okay final state will be a white dwarf and if the mass crosses 10 times the mass of the sun then in that case uh, the future will be either a neutron star or a black hole so here in this lecture i am talking about white dwarf white dwarf that means uh, the mass is within 10 times the mass of the sun so first what happens any star if the mass is is less than 10 times the mass of the sun in that case first is the main sequence phase where hydrogen is converted into helium through nuclear fusion reaction and that way energy is produced and that energy is radiated outward that is known to you and with our sun same thing is happening and we are getting that energy and that's why life on earth has become possible so this thing is known to you next phase is the red giant phase when hydrogen is depleted yes when hydrogen is depleted in that case what happens the core region heats up and the outer layer of the star expands and cools okay expands and cools means temperature of the outer layer of the star becomes somewhat lower and that phase is called red giant phase if you talk about our sun then after 5 billion years of time we will be able to see the red giant phase okay anyway so next phase was after main sequence phase was red giant phase and after red giant phase uh, there is a formation of planetary nebula what happens when so hydrogen was being converted into helium then in the core region nuclear fusion reaction of helium helium takes place and the result is the formation of carbon and oxygen during this phase the outer layer outer layers are expelled into the space which forms planetary nebula okay and the remaining thing is what remaining thing is the only the core region this core region is known as the white dwarf it is extremely dense but temperature is not that much temperature is not so much higher because size of the core region that means the size of the white dwarf is comparatively small since size is very small so luminous luminosity of the star is not much higher okay so and the mass of the core region or the mass of the white dwarf is almost equal to the mass of the sun is like uh, it lies between means, means it varies between 0.6 and 1.4 times this upper limit 1.4 this is known as chandrasekhar limit to discuss what is chandrasekhar limit i'll make a separate video okay anyway the mass of the white dwarf lies between 0.6 and 1.4 times uh, four times the mass of the sun 
and the, if you talk about the volume of the white dwarf then it becomes similar to the volume of our planet earth okay that means size is so small and since size is so small so luminosity of the white dwarf is not much higher yes it's still radius energy and over billions of year, years of time the temperature of the white dwarf gradually decreases and after that it becomes a black dwarf though at present physicists have not found any black dwarf in the cosmos because time required to become a black dwarf is much higher but the age of our universe is not that much means the present day white dwarfs are still in the process of becoming black dwarfs okay our the age of the current universe is not that much okay anyway so this is the future of the uh, uh, white dwarf black dwarf and after that what will, will happen that is still not known okay anyway so uh, i talked about talked about mass and size then atmosphere what is the atmosphere of a white dwarf in the atmosphere either you will get hydrogen or helium both are lightest elements okay due to gravitational settling on the top you will get either hydrogen or helium that is the atmosphere of a white dwarf i have talked about luminosity luminosity is much less if you compare with the star okay so luminosity is much less so this was all about uh, white dwarf yes study of white dwarf by studying other white dwarfs which are uh, at present available in the cosmos scientists can predict the future of our sun the study of stellar evolution the study of galactic evolution all these things uh, can be known in detail if you can study the white dwarfs the present day white dwarfs in detail so researches are going on all over the world on white dwarfs and most of the, the future of most of the stars are white dwarfs because most of the stars the mass of the most of the stars lie between 8 to 10 times the mass of the sun and if it goes beyond that okay then the future will be either a neutron star or a black hole okay so this was all about uh, the topic white dwarf okay okay so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video